Hey, welcome back once again, all you CISSP wannabes. My name is Colin Weaver. These are the IT Dojo CISSP questions of the day, where each and every day, or almost every day lately, it seems like, uh, I come at you with two brand new questions to help as you continue on your studies for your CISSP exam. So, let's go ahead and jump right in it. All right, my first question for you today is, all of the hardware, software, and or firmware components of a system that go in and comprise its security, or that are critical to its security, I really should say, um, are generally regarded as what? There's your answer choices. Go ahead and give those some thought. Click on pause if you need to. When you're ready, click play and we'll break it all down. All right, first answer on the list is the reference monitor. That is not the correct answer. The reference monitor is a logical component within a system that enforces how subjects interact with objects. In essence, it sort of stands in the middle and mediates all subject-object interaction. So uh, that's not the right answer we're looking for. Next answer, ring zero. Also not the best answer that we're looking for here. Uh, ring zero in the traditional ringed architectures is the innermost or most trusted components of a, a system, and uh, that's not exactly what we're looking for here. The next answer, the trusted computing base, that is the right answer. That's what we're looking for here. The TCB, or the trusted computing base, is uh, the kernel of the system as well as all of the trusted processes that go in and contribute to the critical security aspects of the system. Um, these are the things that we rely upon the most in order for the system to be trustworthy. Uh, we want them to be um, as small in number as possible. We want them to be verifiable. Uh, we want them to be uh, trustworthy, obviously, um, in order to go in and make sure that the system stays trusted when we use it. Now, things that are outside the trusted computing base can certainly lead to security issues, uh, but it's the things within the trusted computing base that are the most critical components of the system that go in and guarantee that it's going to be um, a, a trusted system for us. And then the final answer choice on the list is defense in depth. Um, defense in depth, albeit a wonderful thing, is not the answer that we're looking for here. The whole idea of defense in depth is the notion that we go in and we layer security mechanisms upon one another in order to go in and achieve that ever elusive acceptable level of security. What that means? That's up to you to decide. But you do your defense in depth in order to get to that level, whatever it is. All right, let's do question number two now. You are currently explaining the firewall rules on your new firewall to a coworker. Uh, she asks you what type of controls those are. Now, given these as answer choices, which of them is the best answer for you to give her? Go ahead and click on pause, think about those, and then when you're ready, click on play and we can talk it through. All right, the best answer choice that we are looking for here is that a network firewall is a preventive technical control. It's a preventive control because it stops things from occurring. It stops things from happening at the moment that somebody attempts to go in and do them. So as a packet is trying to pass through the firewall, if the rules don't allow for it, then it's going to prevent that from occurring. And because it is a technical, or sometimes people might want to say a logical control, um, it's something that we're doing with technology. Um, it's, it's a mechanism that's going to go in and allow us to accomplish that. So uh, very much so, firewalls are preventative technical controls. All right, short and sweet. Two more questions down. Appreciate you being here. I'll be back, if not tomorrow, the next day. I've been a little wonky on my uh, getting questions rolled out every single day. It's been a little bit busy lately. But um, I appreciate you checking these two questions out. Hopefully they were helpful for you as you continue your studies. Uh, if you got any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you next time. Bye.